this isn't funny anymore. Um, the world, our allies, our enemies see what's going on here. And I don't think he knows that today's Monday. You have a cognitively challenged president and a cognitively hopeless vice president. And I think anything short of that is a disaster for civilization. I can't say it any better. Mr. Speaker, thank you for being with us. Here now with more reaction, former counsel to the President Kellyanne Trump, along with former Arkansas Governor Mike Huckabee, Fox News contributor, former White House Press Secretary Ari Fleischer. He doesn't even know that he's walking it back because he's not aware, obviously, of what he's saying the first time. By the way, I have to walk back Kellyanne Conway, not Kellyanne Trump, uh, having my own, having my own <laughs> Joe Biden moment. they going to have fun with that one, Sean. I, 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 What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Jet here, and Kellyanne Trump. Isn't it funny that everyone knows exactly who that references? Sean Hannity made that gaffe when he had Kellyanne Conway on his show, but in reality, Kellyanne Trump suits her just fine. I mean, there's no difference in identity whatsoever, is there? This Jacqueline was the mouthpiece of the Republican Party's fascist movement, parroting the orange overlord in every way possible. Well, Sean, it's actually, that is a gaffe and a blooper. That is not what Joe Biden's doing. Joe Biden's just not up to the job. And look at all the polls. If you're in the NBC News polling meeting, what in God's name were you thinking today when you saw in your own NBC News poll, 16% of Americans strongly approve of the job Joe Biden is doing as president? His approval ratings at an all-time low. There's been a 29-point swing in the NBC poll from just a year ago. Hell, the entire Republican Party, to include Fox News, is in with that, of course. Might as well change all their names to Trump. They wedded themselves in the bonds of unholy matrimony to their blushing orange bride and vowed never to disobey and always to throw themselves at the feet of their Lord, given any opportunity to save his face at the expense of their necks. That's Republican hierarchy. Kiss the boss's backside is an unspoken oath, a means to slither up the corporate ladder, and they're born to this order. Worshiping the dollar bill has its demands, namely that you forsake all honesty, decency, and morality in exchange for infinite greed. Remember the age-old Republican mantra, integrity and an empty sack is worth an empty sack. This flub by Hannity, of course, coming during the ongoing campaign to try to smear Joe Biden for making mistakes due to his lifelong stutter. He wants to paint a picture that Biden is not cognitively capable. Well, that's, you know, what's that say about yourself there, Hannity? Either you're short a few cognitive marbles, or this is a Freudian slip representative of his ongoing crush on his failed fascist leader, who, coincidentally, never had a single marble to work with from the onset behind the tangerine temple of his. Not only is Trump the picture of a clinical narcissist, but also has a place waiting for him in the funny form right alongside those who think they're Elvis, Jesus, or in this case, believes he's still president and one day the My Pillow guy is going to float down from the heavens and whisk him away back to the Oval Office. So for once, Hannity has come up with a good nickname. All these Jacqueline's should go by the name Trump. They've already pledged their willingness to give their democracy away to this anti-American insult. And that all makes them one big unhappy crime family. They're all in bed with one another with their fates tied. It's what Lindsey Graham referenced back in 2015 when he said of his party, if we elect Trump, we will destroy ourselves and we will have deserved it. That he's a jackass. Well, Lindsay, if there was any redeemable quality in your party, it certainly has been destroyed, utterly, and you absolutely deserve it. Anyone who voted not to impeach, anyone who apologizes for January the 6th, anyone who still backs that hideous orange wart to this day, all of them have neatly defined themselves as anti-American by very definition of their action. And that's not mine or anybody else's opinion. That's just a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.